Warm rain and high winds, 45 degrees, a 15 degree temperature increase. The last uh, 24 hours or so, melting lots of snow very fast. I'm like driving through a car wash. Tree down, Banner Mountain. Banner Lava Cap just up off the highway. That took it down. Huh. Low elevation snowfalls followed by warm atmospheric rivers of rain and high winds have resulted in a lot of tree damage and some localized flooding here in Northern California. As seen along I-5 here in Central California and the Russian River near Guerneville, California on the coast. The High Sierra has seen over 30 feet of snowfall. Its current snowpack is 150% of average to date, with blizzard conditions frequently shutting down Interstate 80 over the summit and ski resorts having more snow than they know what to do with and are unable to open. Meanwhile, snow returns to the Blanco Lirio Global World Headquarters before heading off to London on another trip. Come on, solo stove. It's a blizzard again. Welcome back to London, England. Kensington Gardens, right next to Hyde Park. There's the Prince Albert Queen Victoria Monument right across the street from Royal Albert Hall. It's Wednesday, the 27th of February. Had to check my calendar there. And here in England, they're experiencing record warm temperatures. While Northern California is getting pummeled with another atmospheric river of rain and snow in the high Sierra, and it seems like the rest of the nation is still in the deep throes of winter, the jet stream that we travel to get out here is what moves these weather patterns around, and the warm air has settled in a little bit unseasonably so here in England. In fact, they're even suffering from some wildfires. We saw them. Well, they call them wildfires. I'd call them more like grass fires, or maybe they call them here locally more fires. Just to the north and west of here along the coast, flying in, we could see them, not a cloud in the sky. So everybody's looking for an Orville update. I was able to get up over Orville in the mighty Luscombe a couple of days ago in between the weather storms and give you a good view of what it looks like at Orville. It's still in very good shape. The water level is still, even today, well below the gates of the spillway at Oroville. Even though this atmospheric river is hammering California and it's melting loads of snow that has fallen in the previous colder storms, again, the water level at Oroville has been so low that there's still plenty of room in Oroville for additional runoff. But if this pattern persists a little bit longer, we may very well see the new spillway at Oroville activated this season instead of next season. Again, that water level, the trigger point right now is about 835 feet, and that may change depending on weather conditions and forecasts before they will begin to spill water out of the new spillway at Oroville. So while I enjoy a pint in the park here, I'll get our trained ramp rats back home to clear the snow out in front of the hangar of the mighty Luscombe. For an update, but first let's check the real-time numbers at Oroville. So we started off back in December with a very low lake elevation down to about 663 feet because of the construction, and operators allowed the lake to fill up pretty quickly without 
flows, very low, one to 2,000 CFS, indicating just one or two of the turbines to the Hyatt power plant operating. But we had kind of a slow start to the rain season. By the end of February, operators were still operating just one or two tur turbines, very low outflow, allowing the lake to quickly fill up to, uh, here we are at 800 feet by the end of February. And here we are today, Saturday the 2nd of March, with the real-time numbers, with a lake elevation just over 800 feet, about 805 foot elevation. Outflows have been stepped up a bit to between five and 6,000 CFS, indicating several turbines operating from the Hyatt power plant. Inflows currently about 20 to 25,000 CFS. And these inflows have gone up as high as about 30 to 45,000 CFS during these, some of these heavier storms during the month of February. Look out! some of these snow banks around here today. You got to be a little careful with your wings taxiing around and digging into these things. Show you over here. We finally got the Oil warmed up to lukewarm. Now, you see that big snow bank there on the end of the runway? You're definitely going to want to extend your touchdown zone <laughs> so you're not tempted to come in low over that snow bank and tag it, trying to do some kind of short field landing. That snowbank is as hard as a rock now after all these freezing temperatures. All right, mags on both. Mixture is rich. Fuel's on the left tank. Left tank is full thanks to your kind and generous donations via the PayPal. Trim is set. Winds light out of the north and west. Let's give this thing, it's just been sitting in the hangar for a bit. Let's give her a bit of a run up. Temperature and pressure are looking good. Nice, thick winter air. And we're off. Oh yeah, look at just the elevates. See low snow all the way down into the coast range. Oh, I feel that north breeze kicking in. So this flight is from Tuesday the 19th of February on one of the few days of good flying weather here in the month of February. The current lake level here we're looking at is about 770 feet, a little over 50% of the reservoir's total capacity. With most of the precipitation falling as snow in the High Sierra, it's allowing the reservoir to fill up steadily without huge fluctuations in inflows as a result of warm atmospheric rivers. As we approach the spillway gates, we can see the water level is still well below the spillway gates, which are located at an elevation about 813 feet. Crews have been using the spillway gates as their main access into the inside of the spillway and have since been ordered off as the water level rises. The touch-up work on the inside of the spillway is completed and the spillway is ready for operation. 
Based on the most recent weather forecasts, DWR expects the lake level to rise to 830 feet by the 9th of March. The current flood control plan for this year at Oroville was to keep the lake below 835 feet throughout the end of February, which has been met. The plan for March of this year is to keep the lake below 848 feet by using outflows from the Hyatt power plant and the new spillway if needed. Remember the emergency spillway shown here, the big RCC splash pad, roller compacted concrete, is only to be used in the event of an emergency. Work is still being completed, finalized for the emergency spillway. That's why the lake levels, flood control levels, are held down a little bit lower than normal for this year's flood plan. As we get further away from the rain season and the snows in the Sierra hopefully gradually melt, operators will allow the reservoir to continue to rise after March above 850 feet as we transition from flood control to water storage. Meanwhile, work continues on the buttress wall in the emergency spillway as shown in previous updates. Backfilling operations continue on the main spillway but completion of this task is not required before operating the spillway. Terracing, erosion control, and landscaping the slopes after construction will continue into next year. And this access road at the base of the spillway will be removed prior to operation of the spillway to keep debris out of the Thermolito after bay. So the new spillway at Oroville is ready for operation and in fact has been ready since last November. With this year's rainfall in Northern California being a normal or a little above normal level, the rest of the reservoirs throughout the state are at their proper flood control level or are full. And this will be a fantastic ending to the Oroville story if we can top off this reservoir this year at the completion of this project. You can count on a full report when this spillway opens for the first time here on the Blanco Lirio channel and hopefully I'll be there when it happens. Let's head back to the barn. It's cold up here in the Luscombe. Finals clear. North wind, got to count for that. Six or eight, left base two five, Nevada County. Now with all this snow, I want to land a little longer than I normally do. I don't want to come <laughs> clipping off the snowbank at the end of the runway. All right, looks like the windsock agrees with me now. right there. Boy, it looks different with all that snow. Power's off, been off. Blamo. Haven Street, Brownie. Let's get some gas. Right now is where an old tail dragger wants to get squirrely. What's your position? See if the flight attendant supports another cup of coffee. Nothing like horrible airline coffee. Three, Free cup of coffee with every fill-up, I say.
Uh, Julianne? Pá, lá. Come on now. Here we go. Here we go. there.